Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today we are back on The Witcher 3. We are going to go tell Pris Priscilla what we've learned about doo-doo. So let's go and do this. We need to find dandelion shit. I don't know, I don't know what the hell he's doing. This is a damn- this is a whole hell of a lot of work. It's a whole hell of a lot of work for one dude. Alright, I think she- yeah, she's on this floor, and this is her room. She just chills in here, she just sits, and I can't talk to her! Oh, my- game! Fix your shit. I'm sick and tired of having to meditate to talk to anyone. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan. But we need Doodoo. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Doodoo? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Reynard's troop, that's all, really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Alright. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, oh, I was hoping... God. The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? That'll work. Great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulvera. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with the Doppler's salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. 
We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Hmm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by a scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Alright, talk. take the script to Irina Renarde. Alright, I don't know who this is. We're getting a new character, kind of. Head out here. Paul ass. I I wanna. I'm kind of interested to see this play, how it's gonna work out and all that junk. Please let me in. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, bro, bro. I need the door opened. This is where Madame Arena's troupe performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Alright. So wait, what am I? Am I going? Alright, I go in. So this is her right here. Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Doodoo recently. I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Doodoo's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And... Who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? 
Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing. Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. All right, let's hire some usher. We'll hire the ushers first, I guess. We'll just go in order. Let's go ahead and head out of here. Let's go to the docks. Let's see here, 200 away, 202. Uh, oh, of course, they got to be in the opposite directions of each other. They couldn't just be both on this side of the water, no. One's gotta be all the way over there, and one's gotta be all the way over here. I should have gotten the jugglers first, because then, because I was right there. Alright. I thought those were the docks. Oh, you yeah. Shut up, train. And why is my phone... Why is it telling me I used up- oh, whatever. It's telling me I used up, like, a portion of my data. It says I've, I've used up, like, 5%. Why is it texting me that? I don't even know how much data I have. I thought I had unlimited. My wife says 5%. Alright. So I'm just supposed to talk to dudes down here and get them to- to be an usher? Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metana. Killer instinct versus primal rage. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. I actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked, on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. I pay you well. Stand to make more than you do here. Expecting trouble? Well, we need to bust some heads. Can't rule it out. Bricks could start flying. Heard that from a reliable source. Ow! Wanna smash some brick layers? Oh, he does, he does! Oh, I don't know me own brother. Give me that coin. And don't fret. We'll be there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Alright, we'll hire them out. Let's go and get some. Let's recruit some jugglers to perform. Oh, from the performing troupe called the Puffins. Alright, oh, what? Oh, okay. This thing keeps hopping around. Can't even tell where I'm supposed to go. Here it is. Alright. I can't wait to see this play. It's gonna be so stupid. It's just gonna be so retarded. She wrote that thing in like two hours. Can't even be that long. Which is probably a good thing, because it's gonna suck. Alright. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump and pull myself up and ah! keep thinking I'm playing assassin. You can pull yourself. You can jump and pull yourself, but I feel like I keep thinking I'm playing assassin creed, and obviously I'm not. All right, about halfway there. Oh yeah. I need to get across this. I guess we're gonna get across up here at this bridge. Yeah. I was gonna say, if. Could have just taken one of those bridges earlier. Because now we have to. What is going. Alright. Because it loops back around here, so I probably should have taken one of the earlier ones. 
it always they don't always give you the most efficient route to get to your destination. As they give you some of these weird wacky routes. Alright. See what these jugglers want. Or what these puffins want, whatever they are. They're puffins, aren't they? And we're hiring them to be jugglers. Huh. The yawn is real. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be! Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs, and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments, Lately, they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end. No clue what to do. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. All right. Time to go kick these guys' ass. Oh, hey, they're just around the corner. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I think I'm about to have to kill your ass. You and your friends. So you're the ones. Oh, I fat so. Look what we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire? Cat shit. Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted Iraq Emelfart? Called him an allmonger? I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. Easy. Pull the sword back out, girl. Girl, pull your sword back out. Alright, you know what? I guess we'll just use this sword. Why would... Pull out your sword. Pull out the sword. There we go. Uh-huh. You little bitches. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two, over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much! Come on, it was nothing. Ah, oh, it was something, all right? I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper! Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. All right. That wasn't too bad. I thought I was going to have to take out like a, a whole big gang. Um, all right. I guess it's time to talk to Irina Bernard and start the play up. With a library. Imagine that. Vile times.
We're about to, uh, we're about to witness this glorious play. This should be good. Alright, let's go this way, back in here. Now she's up here. Is her? No. Now she's behind. What the hell? Shit's not loading correctly. What oh, is going oh. on? There we go. Oh, is, it is it in case the first one breaks? Spell. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troop? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm That's acting. Let's do this. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolia, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. We gotta Let's go, go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? I picked Priscilla because... This lady needs to be directing the play. She needs to be the director. She doesn't need to be in it. We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Oh, God. This is going to be horrible. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pussy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. You're going to wear hose and a codpiece. Come, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Oh, God. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. Most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, Appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, 
the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows, and a grateful queen shall reward your woes. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... and no man is my measure. He's swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. In stealth we'd meet, in deceit like liars. Tonight shall it end, be my wife, that's my plea. Our hearts torment over, we shall love for centuries. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will! Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. D -d 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 Treason! Tis not wine, <coughs> but a brew spiked with silver. Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. Hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. but a lack of morals, and a surfeit of cakes. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend.
But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command? Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray of scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. God, that play was awful. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Who's this idiot? He's right! I, Mummers, don't know the Eternal Fire's commandments! Blasphemers! Order to teach them respect for the faith! What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear you new arseholes! Tear me a new one? We'll see about that. On your feet, boys! Give them a taste of hell! In the name of the church! Give us a hand, Witcher. Can't take them on our own. Wait, so not only do I have to act, I gotta fight some bitches? I'm just, I, I'm just gonna have to do everything, aren't I? What is going on? Why did you put your sword away, Geralt? Pull him back out. We one hit fools out here. Uh, steady just destroying. Nothing like some decent diversion. Talk to Dudu in Irina. Come on, Dudu awaits in our room. See what's about to go down with this dude. Geralt, you recognized me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horson's to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. What the hell? I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. 
I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in Time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. Not bad. Not bad at all, for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. All right, so we need to meet Zoltan at the site of the ambush. Let's see here. Is that my main quest? Yeah, it is. We're getting close to going to Skellige to meet Yennefer. Kind of excited, but I also i am sitting here thinking... Am I actually going to be level 16 when we do that shit, or no? I'm really close to level 14. Uh, wait, did I just level up? I got crowns. The second sword. Is it in No, no, alright. That was how much. Okay. That's gonna do it for this episode, guys. In the next one, we will meet Zoltan at the side of the ambush. And uh, we'll get this we'll keep this thing rolling. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.